Hey, what's up guys? Hey, today guys, I want to speak to you about reaching. Reaching is something that we have in our program because for a couple of reasons. Reaching helps us engage our serratus and if you've got a strong serratus, it'll help bring your rib cage from an extended position back around into a neutral position. Because so many of us are stuck in this extension here, which is a poor postural position and the spine is under a bit more stress when you're in that extension. The second thing that it does is it builds that core strength, not only for the, the big showy muscles that everyone wants to work on to work on that six pack, but it's building our transverse ab area and it also works our obliques. So the stronger those things are, those muscles are, then the better position that you're gonna be able to put yourself in and better posture, and you're gonna be able to move a lot better um, for, for longevity. So I'm gonna take you through three exercises that, of many that we use in our program. First one that I'm gonna take you through is our chimp hold. Okay, so I'll just get in a position where you can see. So with the chimp hold, either flat-handed or you can come up onto your knuckles. Um, we want them directly underneath the shoulder and we want our knee directly underneath the hip. From here, we're gonna tuck our pelvis under a little bit and we wanna be breathing deep and bracing through our core area. Now I'm gonna to start to reach. So I'm gonna press through my armpit here, activating that serratus, pressing through getting a little bit of roundness through your upper back, just spreading that apart and filling that with air, and exhaling. Whole time, I'm bracing and I'm reaching. And from here, to advance this a little bit, you dig your toes in, you get your knees just off the ground while you continue to reach and you brace through your core. You start with this, trying to build from you know 20 seconds and upwards of holding, then resting and you'll start to feel that it looks easy, but it's actually a lot harder than it looks, okay? That is exercise one, which is our chimpanzee hold. Number two I'm gonna show you through is just a normal plank. So most people know what the plank is, but I'll take you through it anyway. Is elbows underneath the shoulders, feet are together, and we form a nice bench top back, okay? Hands are apart, so many people will put them together, but it puts our shoulders into that internal rotation we want to get them about shoulder width and straight ahead so that we're in a little bit of external rotation. Holding here, I'm now going to press through my elbows and again, I'm reaching through those armpits to activate that serratus. And here I'm breathing deep. Again, working on time to advance it is trying to add time for as long as you do it. So it might be 20 seconds and rest and eventually just keep trying to work up to get that activation and, and build that strength through there. Now the last one I'm going to show you, which I'm just going to adjust my mic pack here, is the dead bug position. All right, so the dead bug position is on the back. We're going to press our lower back into the ground by tilting the pelvis, lying flat, bring the legs up, we form a bit of a V here with our, with our knees um, and our pelvis. And then again, the arms reach towards the ceiling and we press, pushing the lower back down, reaching through those armpits again and breathing deep. Controlling that lower back and activating that whole core area. There's a lot of progressions to this such as pulsing and leg extensions, but that is a video for another day. But there are three exercises that don't look like much on the video, but guys, give them a go, and I, I promise you that you'll start to build strength in that core area and get that serratus nice and strong. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you soon.